है गाइज दिस इज ए पार्ट नंबर थ्री कैनाल डिजाइन में प्रोजेक्ट एन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू बी क्रिएट द प्रोफ डिजाइन प्रोफाइल सरफेस प्रोफाइल्स एंड द आवर सरफेस दैट ऑल एवरीथिंग इज द कंप्लीटेड दिस इज द सरफेस एंड अलाइनमेंट एंड दिस इज द आवर सरफेस प्रोफाइल एंड द डिजाइन प्रोफाइल्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल क्रिएट ए असेंबली असेंबली मींस क्रॉस सेक्शन फॉर आवर कैनाल्स ऑलरेडी ए सैंपल आई क्रिएटेड हियर यू कैन सी लाइक दिस डिजाइन दिस इज द डायमेंशंस ऑल सो वी क्रिएट ए बाय पॉलीलाइन दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन सो लेट्स गो हाउ टू वी क्रिएट same the dimensions so first just we select our polyline here and you can see the dimensions this is the 1.5 meters this is the 0.2 thickness and this thickness is the 0.15 and the bottom see the width is the 1.67 and height is this much so just i'm um, copy this polyline and bring it out here okay then we create the assembly from here so first you select your home tab you come here create the design in this expand then you see that one option is there create assembly from the polyline select it and select your object created by the polyline here then this <coughs> is asking there some informations i am giving to here name canal cross section its name big but i'm giving to this one second here nothing you have to change here that multiple is the okay but option is the non single but multiple is the good here ordinance no need to change here and area erase the existing entire so our polyline will be erased okay if you don't want to erase then the uncheck this one then say to okay see now color has been changed means it converted in the assembly second thing just select once here and you see the options are appear here we will use this three options and and last the add the assembly so first we will use the add code add we assign the code one by one this points and this links each other connecting then we assign the shape also our assembly i'm giving just one number not giving to name if you want to give the name the bottom top as you want one i'm giving here number 2 okay 1 to then another here direct select the assembly and give to number 3 okay three and then give to number four assembly in number four and select it then come to this side as you like continuous you can do this is the number five a this is the number six assemb select assembly and give to number six then select here and now this is the number 7 enter again repeat to command then select here and with the seven number then enter then select your point okay select just point not a line now again enter and select assembly and give to number 8 here so this top <coughs> points all are given the code now start from here at then enter again and select your assembly here and give to number 9 okay then give to number 10 first you select your assembly then then number enter then select your point and then select again assembly and give to number 11 okay then again you come here and select 
to do your assembly, give to number 12, select your points and again here select your assembly and give to number 13 here and again select to assembly then give to number 14 total or 14 number we given the code if you want to check you come here we started here see hold your cursor here see the point code you can see the down one or here if you come down then you can see here number 11 so already we assigned because the color has been changed there in magento colors now we are assigning the code our links links means this to this join this to this join this to this, this join so given to code also there here just select here assembly then choose from here the add code again and I'm giving now number A here. Select this is the A color changed here. Enter, then give to B as you like. You write it off the bottom sides. What is the your name you want to assign? You can assign here. Yes, then select assembly and giving to C. Okay, enter. So here already given a b c d or you can start from here or you can come to continuous here and um, just select and give to name here is the p then enter and select here again select your assembly here and i'm giving to e then select here and use see the color is changing again here then give to name as you you like or you can repeat again i'm giving to f and enter then select this one and select again this in i'm giving to g yes then select again here and give to as you like i'm giving this code okay select again and i'm selecting here and giving to save Again, you select your assembly. It's asking the code what you want to give into this S. Again, you select here. Then again, asking the name I'm giving to this X. Okay. And here, again, select your assembly here. I'm giving to code here the T. Okay. And select again this one here then i'm giving to y okay then select again here and give to name i'm giving to you so now our assembly is almost complete because we assigned the all code points and links one thing is remaining the safe safe means the material which materials we are using here we are using the concrete boulders what we using bricks we can give you save first just select here and say to add the save then select your assembly one by one this links otherwise select once like this complete and enter you see we assigned the materials here also now we have to give the code to our material. So select your assembly here and see the add the code. Then give the code name. I'm giving here concrete. Enter. Then select your shape. It's asking like this. Yes, you see the color has changed now. Means we assigned the code. Assembly. It's ready. Sub assembly is there ready now. Come to here the home panel. You see the assembly. Assembly. Here is the assembly. Create the assembly. Give to name. I'm giving to same name. Canal. Main. Okay. Nothing we change here. Just select okay. And drop your assembly where you want. I want to here. I drop assembly. And select the, this your sub assembly here. This is the sub assembly. Okay. Then come here and 
you see the attaching point is the showing here you see here here attaching point you can see this point is we saying the origin point we want to attach from this point so we have to change this point to here how to we change just select and set to modify origin then come to here and in this place is snapping our point then click to here and say to enter okay escape then you select your assembly again you see that point from here to here that's shifted already our assembly will be attached from here how <clears throat> the select once assembly again and see the option add to assembly just click once here come here and select your main assembly to attach the sub assembly here anywhere in the center lines you select just i'm selecting here you come and see our already attached them this is the main assembly and sub assembly next we have to assign how much from here we want to cut and fill if our surface will be up here then it will be cut and if the surface will be down then it will be fill here as we given the slopes so for this just you come in the home panel and you can see here the palettes okay tool palettes just click on it here my tool palettes all are open here here many things we created by polyline otherwise you can choose the options are here many options or you can create yourself here you can modify and use it many the uh, pre uh, by default uh, created by the civil 3d here available in the palettes uh, here other you see the in the generic here you can use these points these links as you like you can use it and create the same like this or another types of assembly now here you just select that daylight will use here this option this is the cut and fill options here so here many types there you see the maximum bids maximum offsets all are here basins basin tools and you can see the icons how to they will be here after either your sub assembly i am choosing here i think this is a general this general is good okay so it's somehow if the our uh, mm, sorry ground uh, is uh, low and up then it will be created uh, like this situation so this water will be not hit to our this uh, canals i'm choosing this daylight general or if you want you can use the, the bench i'm using here general okay then you see the options are here and the right side is the sewing later will be uh, customized just we have to apply once here i'm going to apply it here you see already i applied here and okay, escape here slope is there six uh, one is to six we want to change we can change just click on here right click and go to sub assembly properties you come to here parameters are here if you want to change the name then you can change name otherwise leave it i'm not changing here and here parameters are here side is the right dead right link is the include with all the links and cut test point link is the three links here are cut point c one two three here you can see the icons okay cut one in the one width is the horizontal here you can increase c a okay come here and if you want to increase first cut i'm increasing here give to 10 meter and then you see the how we have i'm just apply here okay it's saying the noted macro macro is file is not found the original okay so just 
you put here again the zero okay and say to apply okay and you see the here put the two you can test it see this how to it is the behaving you can see this width from here to here this is the first cut and okay then second cut you can choose first cut i choosing here one meter so we remember and uh, horizon, horizontal the cut slope uh, is the horizontal means this side we don't want the uh, vertical we want the straight here okay then second cut i am putting here 1.5 meters and apply it you see the second is start and it is the horizontal slab, uh, <coughs> slope also then third cut is here i am applying it two meter here okay apply see the two meter and horizontal straight is the coming you, if you want to change here can change but i don't want to change and fourth cut again here so we don't want to change the fourth the only just three is there enough for us and we leave it as it here we change one thing there here flat cut slope okay we are going to change here just put here a, a i think two one is to two is it? okay but it's not accepting i am giving to four because then the width is the more it's not accepting this four one is to four is the accepting here and maximum cut we give to here i try to 10 meter and apply not accepting here I am giving to 6 meter, yes, not accepting, and giving to 3 meters, it's accepting now. Maximum cut height, okay. Then it depends on the slope. If we change the slope, then we can increase this here. Medium cut, okay, we are not changing here. This is the more option, it will take that times. This cut is the complete. Now we come here, then the field. Fill first fill we giving to 50 centimeter width okay you see here and horizontal and second we give to one meter and third we give to 1.5 meters we apply here you see already here is the changing on my option but we are not changing here we have to apply the one is to four apply it's okay and medium slope yes we don't want change here almost is the complete set to okay then we events close here and let me try once here just select see the choose the option here mirror then select here same is assigned this side parameter no need to change because already we changed here this is the same this is the same so i think you understood that how to we create the assembly now we have to assign this assembly to our project means our alignment and phase. so how to be assigned just you go here create the corridor you can assign from here so i think this chapter is the big now so here i am closing this video now in the next video we will create that course okay thanks for watching